What's going on, YouTube world, uh, gentlemen and ladies and boys and girls? Today we are going to be changing the uh, a coolant expansion tank on a S211 E55 AMG because this one right here is sending bad signals and I don't like bad signals. <laughs> Alright, so the, yeah, this thing right here is giving me false bad signals and the reason why it's doing that is because um, there's a ring inside this thing, right? So this is the one that I'm probably going to end up replacing it with if I can't just get this one to be loose and work. So basically how this thing works is like this, right? And I already changed this sensor right here. This is your level sensor that connects to an electrical connection under this tank and pretty much tells the car how much coolant it has in the uh, expansion tank. So I already changed this, but I'm still getting a bad reading. And I don't like bad readings because the thing was telling me that, oh, you're out of coolant, which is a very scary situation in a car that generates so much heat and power. Um, and then I opened the thing and it's full of coolant. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? So I changed this first. That didn't solve my issue, but I know that my issue is the ring that's inside here. This ring in here gets stuck in the low position and tells the car that you're low on coolant and you get this annoying... Uh, this annoying, what is it called, warning that comes up on your dash like every time you crank the car up and then you tap the tank and then it goes away but then it comes back. And you can see right there the coolant check level light is on because of this uh, stupid thing, the little ring that's inside of the expansion tank that is stuck for some reason in the low level even though the tank is completely full. Really annoying, so I'm gonna try to rectify that situation today. And the way I'm gonna try to do that is by changing these tanks out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to change these tanks out if I can't figure out why this stupid thing just keeps getting stuck. So I guess we are going to go ahead and get started at this point. First thing I'm going to do is remove this cap and the car is cool. I haven't been driving the car or anything like that. So this cap has to come off and I'm going to actually reuse this cap on this one right here when I decide to install this one. Make sure the cap fits. It should fit because it's the same part. And this one right here was broken straight from the dealership. I thought about taking it back to the dealership and um, telling them, hey, What's up with that? It's already broken, but whatever. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. Push comes to shove. But, <clears throat> so let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this right here to siphon out as much of the coolant as I possibly can. All right, so I think I've siphoned out as much coolant as I possibly can out of the uh, expansion tanks. And I'm about to go ahead and remove this little cowling thing and this little intake piece. And uh, I'm gonna go from there. So this pops out super easy just like that that comes out and to the side so it doesn't get stepped on or broken Then we're going to remove this right here so we have easy access to our tubes and everything that's going on up under here so now I'm going to remove my electrical connection that I showed you right here this little piece right here and uh, it just turns like this and then it drops out really simple to remove and then three hoses first we're going to remove this one Cause this one is a kind of a hard to yeah that one all right so now that's out put that to the side so that doesn't get broken or brittle or anything because that would be a bad day now we're going to pull this piece out so this is the way you do this if it doesn't want to come out you take this right here needle nose pliers and you turn it and you pull it up and then it pulls the whole uh, thing out just like that so we're, I guess I have no parts really so to speak yet so we'll put this right there let it marinate so now our coolant tank is pretty loose I really want to get the rest of this coolant out so I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can pull this tube loose without wasting too much coolant okay so the cutting use of a Dixie cup uh, a little syringe, uh, what is that thing called? The T, what is it called? This thing. So we use the Dixie cup and this to get 90% of the coolant out of here without it spilling on the floor. And I think that's pretty much going to be the most difficult part of doing this. The next thing I have to do is loosen up this clamp to get this hose off. Now this clamp, there's a specially designed tool for loosening these clamps right here that uh, you can buy. But you can also use a pair of needle nose or a pair of uh, vice grips to get these things off. And actually the vice grips are the easiest way to do it. So my lovely assistant can hand me that uh, pair of vice grip pliers. Uh, yeah, from right there, or there's some in this little thing right here. Nah, well yeah, that can work too. But that works better. 
Yes, so vice grips are usually the easiest and fastest and safest way to get these things off. Because once you put the pressure on it, you can uh, pretty much move the clamp out of the way. So now I'm gonna take this vice clamp, vice grip, not vice clamp, vice grip, and I'm going to clip onto this part of this, uh, this uh, retaining ring, retaining clip, and I'm gonna wiggle this off like so. Wiggle it as much as I can. I might not be able to actually wiggle it off. I might just have to pull the tank loose. So, uh, let's see if I can get this. Sometimes you want to be careful not to break this plastic hose right here because the heat and stuff over the years will make these hoses brittle sometimes. So, you got to be careful about that. Now, I got to tighten this up a little bit to get this clamp off. This clamp is pretty darn strong. Do so you want me to pull the tank while you hold it? Uh, might help you. Is There we go. There it is. Yeah, I got it. All right. So now, trying. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now the old tank is off, and I'm going to pour the rest of this. Uh, oh, coolant is going everywhere. It's cooling out into our coolant bucket over yonder. Now you still got coolant on this hose going into your water pump into your coolant system, so you don't want to just let this hose go until you put your other tank on. So. I guess I'm going to actually probably do that right now. So here comes the other tank. I was going to try to troubleshoot that tank, but I don't think it's worth it messing around with it. I mean, these things are only like $60, so it's better to have a new tank anyway, I feel. <coughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and plug this hose right here. Hopefully y'all can see that, that hose right there into this right here and then put the clamp back where it needs to go. So I'm going to have to one hand this like this here put this back where it to its home or its new home all right the hose is on the clamp is back where it needs to be and now I can release the vice grip and that's that. That is installed. Now, I'm going to make sure that my electrical connection is connected. Where is my old one? Okay, so this is my old new one. So before I even replace this tank, I replaced this sensor because I thought, okay, maybe my sensor is broken. But there was nothing wrong with the sensor. It was the little ring inside, that the little float that was getting stuck. But this is brand new, so I guess I'm just going to keep it for backup because I always have... I'm always gonna have a bins somewhere that's gonna need <laughs> work. All right, so now I'm connecting my electrical connector at the bottom. And now I'm gonna use my Lota to pour some water on here gently to clean off any of the uh, coolant that got down there. It was a really small amount, but uh, it's important that you, if you're doing this kind of uh, uh, work and you have pets and stuff like that, you wanna make sure that they're not around so that they don't drink or lick up any of this coolant because it can make them sick and it can make other animals sick. So that's why you really want to try to capture as much as you possibly can and let the most minimal amount uh, hit the actual ground. So I'm going to gently rinse off this area of my car. And this is all going to burn off or evaporate anyway once the car is running because it's going to get you know super hot as these cars get. So take one more and we should be good. Give it a little bath there. And yeah, I think that should sort it out. I got way more water than I needed. All right, so now I'm going to use these little two tabs right here. I'm gonna line these two tabs up with these uh, brackets where these grommets are. That's gonna hold this new tank in place. So I'm gonna line it up, looking this way. Press it down gently and it is in place now. And uh, like I said before, this top piece was broken from the Steelership, but whatever. It is what it is. And then we're gonna replace the um, uh, brain fart. Can't remember what this thing is called, but you see what this thing is. It goes back into its home. 
which is right there. And then you can screw this back, put a little bit of pressure on it, and it goes back to this home. So now your tank is secure. The hose clamp is there, the electrical connection is there. Last thing I gotta do is lift this piece up right here, this little uh, retaining clip. You lift the clip up ever so lightly. Ah, there it goes. All right, the clip is there. So, okay, be mindful of this clip. It will try to jump away from you, so just be really, really careful with it. But now, this hose is connected, the bottom hose is connected. Now all we gotta do is refill the uh, tank, and uh, hopefully we have no error. Now, it would be a good idea to flush my entire system since I'm doing all this, but I'm not gonna do that today, but I'm probably gonna do that soon, as soon as it gets a little bit cooler. Go ahead and flush the system, and uh, yeah, put fresh coolant in there. So now I'm gonna clean one more time. Like so. Make sure everything's clean and all that. That's all clean. I'm gonna remove my makeshift funnel. Now I'm going to check my coolant level. Okay, I can add a little bit of coolant to this. Not coolant, but uh, water. So I'm gonna put a tiny little bit of water to bring it up to level. All right, that pretty much brings us up to where we need to be. And now I'm going to install the cap. And that's gonna be pretty much it. Uh, boom, boom. Reinstall the cap. And uh, last but not least, reinstall the plastic or well, the intake tube and the uh, shroud thing that goes over here over the front of the part of the motor so that's next all right so now the uh, coolant is back up to where it needs to be my intake uh, uh, tube is back there and now the uh, engine cowl is back on which is all really easy stuff to put back on so now we're gonna go go ahead and turn the motor on and we're gonna see if we have any uh, coolant level codes which we should not so here we go. It's a moment of truth. We're gonna get in here. We're gonna use the right key and we're gonna get in here and make sure there's no uh, coolant level warning. Fingers and toes, Carlos. Fingers and toes. Reserve fuel, but hey, look at that. No warning. Yay! No messages. We did it. Look, the radio works. There's no messages. That's awesome, but I am going to leave one thing broken on this car just so nothing else happens to it. And uh, yeah, we have pretty much changed the uh, coolant expansion tank on my amazing uh, S211 E55 AMG wagon. Uh, we are KRT Life, KRT Life with a Y. If you have any questions about what I did in this whole process, uh, how to do this yourself, uh, feel free to hit us up in the comments below or you can email us. Make sure you check out our IG, KRT Life, KRT Life with a Y. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps somebody out there. I enjoy doing these do-it-yourself vlogs and uh, because a lot of y'all have been reaching out and saying, oh my God, that just saved me like a whole day. And uh, you know, I've been like going to the forums and going to YouTube for years, absorbing all this knowledge. And now I think it's about time we start sharing a lot of it. So that's what we've been doing for the last year and some change now. So yeah, like, subscribe, comment, all that cool stuff. And we will see you next time in the parking deck. And I'm gonna go run off in my uh, sandals later.